Here we are in beautiful downtown Tacoma, Washington, the city of destiny. I'm Brad Harper. And I'm Peter Lopez. And today we're gonna have an uplifting and inspiring episode where we spotlight amazing individuals, community, lifestyle, and of course, real estate. Absolutely, one of our biggest passions is luxury real estate. Today we get to take an exclusive peek at a beautiful remodeled historic listing whose owners happen to be award-winning whiskey retailers right across the street and has an amazing story. Let's go check it out. Hi guys, thanks for having us. Nice to meet you. Thanks for you? being hey here. Guys. This is an amazing space. Tell me more what inspired you to create this business. Thank you. Uh, well, Glenn has a passion for whiskey and I have a passion for starting businesses. And uh, we are used to traveling in Europe where we came across a bunch of boutique whiskey stores and wanted to bring that to Tacoma. Wow, congratulations. That's amazing. I also hear you love to give back a little bit. Tell me more about that. We do, so we had a stillborn son in 2018, mm. and uh, since then we decided to create a legacy for him, and so we have done a diaper drive every year in his honor. This year was the fifth year, and we also augmented that with a benefit horse show at my horse farm. I'm starting a podcast called The Mother of Monarch, where you can hear more about that journey and everything that we have going on business-wise. That's amazing, I can't wait to tune in, keep up, and support that fundraiser. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I also hear you have an amazing historic listing up from the market right now. We do, we own the Second Rest Mansion, which has a really rich history in Tacoma. Oh my gosh. Can, Can we see it? it? Yes. Let's Please. go. Let's do, it. Let's do it. This is such an extraordinary opportunity to see. William Ross Ross, who opened the smelter in Ruston, which was later named after him, had an 18 room house not too far from here. His son died. The story is they didn't want to live in that house anymore and they wanted something a little bit more manageable, so they built this 10,000 square foot, five bedroom, five bath house. So this is gonna be a treat to see some of the great artistic artwork here. Hey, hey guys! <laughs> Welcome! Thank you for having us. This is going to be an amazing treat. Thanks for being here. Let's go check it out. Wow, look at the generous size of this living room and the tall ceilings. Did you do a lot in this room? Really, we just refinished the floors and painted. We did the same thing. We repurposed uh, the master bathroom marble for the fireplace um, and then just put up some new trim and gave it a new lease on life. This is one of our favorite rooms in the house. Um, we did barely anything in here. We even kept the color of the floors the same. Um, we just changed out some of the light fixtures because they weren't original anymore for something that made a little bit more sense and we really did the most with furnishings in here. It is so warm in here, it's just beautiful. It just looks so comforting. I can see you spending a lot of time in here. Maxine, thank you so much for this tour and everything you've got going on. I'm so proud of you and I wish you that the the support of everything growing that you're trying to grow and it just gets so big that it becomes a whole nother level. Thank you so much. Yes, and the house is beautiful as well. This has been a neat treat. Thank you for being here. You bet. The McCollum family story is nothing short of remarkable. They've overcome unimaginable challenges and used their success to make a difference in people's lives. And that's what the American dream is all about, achieving huge success, but turning around and helping others with it. We hope their story and this episode of American Dream have shown you that the American dream is alive and well. We hope to bring you awesome triumphant stories like the McCollum family, who lead a purpose-driven life. I'm Brad Harper. I'm Peter Lopez. And this is the American Dream. Thank you.